Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net here today with another fun craft product. So today we're going to talk about the foil quill. So the foil quill is from We Are Memory Keepers and I'm going to test the box that has three different quills in it. So first we're going to open the box, see what's inside, and then we're going to test it actually on a Cricut Explore Air 2. So I'm going to run through kind of how to use it with that machine, but right on the box it says that it can be used on the Cricut, the Silhouette, the Brother, or the Sizzix. Um, just so you know, I'm using it on my Cricut Explorer 2. I'm using it on one that's about four years old. So if you use any products on your Cricut that are not Cricut brand, it actually voids the warranty of the machine. And the foil quill has not been tested with the machine, so we don't know what the heat really does to the machine itself. So I'm taking it at my own risk and using it on a Cricut Explorer 2 that's several years old, and that is a spare machine. So I'm not using it on the machine I use every day. So. I just wanted to let everyone know that before we get started. So let's get started, let's look at what's in the box, and then let's test out all three of the quills. All right, so here is the foil quill from We Are Memory Keepers. Now I ordered the bundle that comes with all three sizes of the foil quill. So the bundle package includes the three sizes, it includes adapters for various machines, it includes, looks like some foil in the bottom. So let's open the box and let's see what is all inside. Now you can purchase the si the different sizes of the quill separately and not all together. Um, I wanted to experiment with all three for the sake of this video. So I got the bundle package. All right, so here is our quill quill box. And here's what you can find inside. So there's three different colors of foil that we can use. And I went ahead and purchased another gold roll for the trials I'll be doing. And then there's some tape, a couple of adapters, looks like an A and a B, three different foil quills, and each of those has a cord with a USB adapter. And then there is an instruction book. And then on the back of this, there's actually a few more pieces. So there's actually a couple more adapters. It looks like a C and a D. So you have A, B, C, and D. As well as what I think is a heat protector for your machine. So let's dive into this package and try to use it. All right, first let's talk about the machine itself. So I'm gonna use it on my Cricut Explore Air 2. So this machine right here is about four years old. So if you use anyone else's accessories on your Cricut, it voids the warranty. So this foil quill is by We Are Memory Keepers. So using it with a Cricut machine actually voids the warranty of the machine itself. Plus there is no studies as to what it does to the machine. So I'm using it on my older machine. So this machine is several years old. It's my backup machine. So I'm okay with experimenting with it just for the sake of the video. But just to warn you that there can be issues with the Cricut and the foil quill and you should use it at your own risk. So now how to put the foil quill in the machine. So first of all, you'll need the correct adapter. So in this case, it's the C adapter. And I'm gonna use the thinnest one first and we're gonna use all three in the video. And then we're gonna put it in the pin holder and so you wanna open the clamp first of all, and then press from the bottom to in the center. We're removing this adapter that's in here already. So press and pull from the top, and you'll have an adapter that looks something like this. We're gonna take that out, and then we're gonna put the foil quill into place. Press it down so it's seated well, and then we're gonna close the clamp. So it did not click or anything, um, I just pressed it down into place and then I closed the clamp. And then we want to plug this in to an outlet. So I'm going to run the cord back here and plug that in. And now it, the light comes on and we want to let that heat up for five minutes. So you can actually put this heat guard underneath the quill while it's heating up. That way the heat is not directly on your machine while it's heating up. Just be careful when you remove this as it could be hot. So this is gonna heat up for five minutes. In the meantime, we can actually prep our project. All right, so for the project itself, I'm actually gonna put a quote onto this 
It's actually mat board. So we're not gonna cut the mat board at all. I'm just gonna use the quill to put the quote on. And it's an eight by 10 piece of mat board. And then we're gonna use, so I'm gonna use uh, some gold foil. Now there's a couple of different colors of foil that come with your quill, but they're not very wide. So for this project, I wanted a wider foil. So this is actually the foil quill foil. So it is exactly what's in the package itself. So no difference there. And you just wanna pull the foil out and there's a small piece of tape adhering it. And then we're just gonna cover the area that we're going to foil. And you wanna be sure to leave a one inch border around whatever you're gonna foil. So I'm just going to lay this out and I'm gonna trim it to size with some scissors. I'm gonna trim it to length as well. All right, so I'm doing this shiny side up and I believe that's right, but the instructions aren't totally clear on that. And then I'm using the tape that was included in the bundle that I purchased. And it's kind of like a washi tape. And I'm just going to secure all four sides and it says to pull it taut, so it should be really tight. And then we'll just secure that down. Make sure it's tight on the sides. And so there's my foil and it's tight down on the surface I'm gonna put it on and then it's stuck to my mat really well. Now it's time to run it through the machine. So first a few things about the design that you're actually gonna use with the foil and the Cricut. So you wanna use a writing font, and I'm gonna use a couple different styles to kind of give you some ideas of what it's, it's going to look like. Um, but the writing font will do the best, and then the writing font also uses the pen side of your, whole, of your machine, which is where your foil quill is. So you wanna be sure to use a writing font and make sure it's on writing. All right, now we're ready to start foiling. So the foil quill has heated up, so we can remove this heat guard, set that aside, and then we're going to add in our project mat that we just made. We're going to load that into our machine. Now again, this project isn't going to cut, it's only going to draw our letters. So the machine is done and I'm gonna remove it from the machine. So you can see that in several places the foil actually ripped as it was trying to draw. So let's remove the piece itself and see how well we did. So this is the thinnest quill and we had the ripping of the foil. Now let's peel back the foil itself. The tape is also pulling on some of my substrate, so I'll have, you need to be careful when you peel that tape back. And then, so it did a great job, except for where the foil itself ripped. So let's try another quill and see if we get the same result. All right, now we're gonna try the second size of foil quill. So to change the foil quill, I did the same thing. You do wanna make sure that the one you had in there previously is completely cool before you change. Then insert the new one in the same manner with the adapter and everything. Then plug in the new one and allow it to heat up for five minutes. Then we did the same procedure 
for actually adhering our project to the mat and the foil to the project with the tape. So it's the exact same procedure for the next version of the quill. It's just a little thicker as far as the piece that actually writes onto the foil is actually larger in this case than this one. All right, so now we are going to, we have everything, everything set up. Again, we have a project with a writing font and we're gonna write only, we're not gonna do any cutting. I didn't get any ripping of the foil as I did my project. So something I did do differently, I went back and read the instructions. I made sure that the type of material I'm putting the foil on is what I chose. So I had just chosen like a, a foil vinyl because I was using the material for this. But you need to choose the material for the substrate you're putting it on and I think that made a difference. I will go back and test the foil quilt, the smallest one again and see if it rips with the same font and same conditions with the material settings changed. So pulling back the foil from this project and it's pretty much perfect. So you can see how good the foil coil does. Now let's try the thickest one of the three and see what happens. All right, finally we have the largest of the three. So we tried the small and the medium and now we have the largest foil quill that is in the package. So I'm, I am gonna go back and try the small off camera and then we'll talk about the results from all three. So I did also last time, so the first time I'm wondering if I didn't have it taped down well enough. So you have to really pull it taut and tape it down well and I'm wondering if the first time I didn't do that. So I'll go back and try that as well as that material setting I was talking about and see if the combination of those two is what caused the foil itself to rip as it was drawing on top of my project. But for now, let's try this largest quill. one worked perfectly as well without any tearing so now let's peel it back and reveal what the largest size will do. That looks really good and is thicker than the first so I will have um, some comparison shots that I'll put up so you can see the differences in the thicknesses and with it done on the same font. So now there's actually a font that they just released for the Cricut it's actually a filled font and I want to see if this largest foil quill is thick enough to actually fill those letters in. So we're going to do one more experiment with the thick and that filled font. So the filled font does not work with the thickest foil quill. So you can still see the lines where it's trying to fill in if you can see that. Um, if you like this look however you can definitely try it. So it's called I think Carly Fill maybe, but um, just look for a Carly font, Carly with a K. Look for the one that has this fill on the letters. Um, so if you like this look, you can definitely try that, but it will not fill completely. So it's intended to be used with a really thick marker, and I thought it would be worth a try to, with the thickest foil quill, but it does not work. So I did go back and I tested the smallest of the quills. I made sure my foil was down really well on my surface, and then I picked the material type for the material I was using. So I'm using a pretty thick material um, and it worked perfectly. So the foil did not rip. So I think that was a couple things I was doing wrong. So few tips, make sure you pick the material type for whatever the substrate is you're putting it on. Do not pick foil as your material. Second tip, make sure that the foil is taped down really well and that it's really tight, you know, both up and down and side to side and that the tape is on there really well and then when it finishes its process make sure you peel back that tape carefully so you don't damage what you've just completed so I hope that answered all your questions about the foil quill if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up be sure to subscribe on youtube so you don't miss any other crafty fun because we do these videos all the time thanks y'all so much and i will see you in about a week with another video thanks bye